Okay, so this afternoon we're going to spend like 15 minutes on the pain management. And then we have 17 minutes. Oh, it's okay. I don't run. So we have 17 minutes to probably perform some demonstration on the audience. And uh, I have more, you know, uh, dialogue with you know, everybody here. So make sure you can take this technique back home tomorrow. You can see patient. So uh, back in America, you know, in California, so I've been teaching, you know, all over, and also a lecture three years ago for the Medical Acupuncture Association, and then the technique was well received because it was simple and uh, looks very uh, impressive and easy to pick up. Um, so that was the first physician who studied MCT and then he got certified, so he is practicing uh, acupuncture at a hospital in Reno, um, Nevada. So he was the first doctor, you know, who practiced acupuncture in the hospital. So that was a big deal. I think here probably more advanced. So he had some, you know, idea. Of, you know, he's been doing acupuncture for quite a long time, and he found, you know, he needs an acupuncture that can help his patient for better result. But because he's a medical doctor, and then the hospital often assign as many patients as you know, they want. So there's stress, you know, the pressure is there. So you have to offer good result within less time. And then the technique is simple enough and then also less painful. He used to do more scalp acupuncture and then he found some patient receive well, some patient don't. And then the result probably is not, you know, just because he hasn't done that much, you know, for a long time. So maybe his result was not that encouraging. So he tried my technique, MCT, and then he first thought maybe just give a try and see how it works. And then it doesn't work, it doesn't hurt. So he was very impressed, you know, very happy with the result, yeah. So that's why he said, you know, his technique, this technique, he uses quite often right now. So there are two, you know, we we'll talk about pain, the two scenarios. Uh, somebody has, you know, laugh to hurt, right? So my back hurts, and then, you know, when I cough, when I laugh, and then if tummy hurts, it's good pain. There's some pain, it's good, and some pain is bad. So two patients, one is laughing and her stomach, and that's okay. But the other patient is laughing really hard and the back hurts. So that's not okay. So that pain has to be taken care of. Okay. And acupuncture, uh, especially muscle channel technique, is good for that kind of pain. Okay. Uh, this morning, I listened to Dr. Anstruder, you know, a professor, uh, lecture. I knew a few German uh, words. And then there's some Chinese uh, characters on the slides help me. And he's trying to make sure authentic Chinese medicine, you know, is well received in the West. And uh, I studied Ling Shu, Nei Jing, uh, Shu Wen, and then so this was uh, always very encouraging to me uh, how to take care of our patient, you know, in a better way. Um, so Ling Shu has a chapter that's discussing placebo effect and also the criterion for a doctor, a good doctor, a social doctor. And uh, so they even give the numbers, the percentage. So when a doctor using acupuncture treating a patient, or give herbs, whatever they do, and the patient feels better, improved, if the percentage is like a 60%, and then they believe that was a placebo. Basically, anybody who carries a needle and stick needle into a patient, there's chance the patient feels better. 